All right, and uh, that's just like that. We're back already. Episode three. Feels like it's been. Feels like it's been two weeks. Oh wait. Oof. Ooh, it's been two weeks. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't see any reason to waste any time. You know, so just get right into <laughs> it. You know. Um, <laughs> as, oppo- as opposed to not getting into it. <laughs> you know. How it's. All right. Um, the first one is a hot dog a sandwich. Dude, all day. All day. Oh, thank God. There's Dude, no way it's not. How is it not a sandwich? Yeah. It's, a, it's meat pushed in between two Whoa. things of bread. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna cut that out <laughs> with toppings i mean you got condiments like yeah what what separates it from a burger there's the meat mm-hmm. there's in between i think a sandwich should be classified as any sub mm, i don't know what word i'm gonna look here but Dude, subs don't even get cut in half like the bread doesn't get cut in half on a sub you know what i mean it doesn't get sliced all the way through. yeah like some so people say like has hot, to be like separate pieces so of bread sub a hot dog hot dog no, nah, it's definitely a sandwich. Not even. There's no questions asked, baby. Yeah, I completely disagree. Uh, wait. Wait. No, I mean. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I, mean, I, <laughs> I was like, I thought we were, thought we were together on this one. <laughs> Damn, that was that was real fast. Real fast podcast where we give you a podcast real fast. <laughs> real fast. <laughs> All right. When you're making pizza rolls, are you putting those bad boys in the microwave or the oven? Dude, oven all day. Ooh, microwave. Dude, you want soggy? I pizza think I've rolls? micro. I think I've put pizza rolls in the oven maybe once in my life. Why? Okay, you're just missing out. You're no, just, no, no. You okay. just like you just like picking up a soggy, wet pizza roll and just feeling the water <laughs> of the ice that melted onto it. It's like cooling right down, down at the same time. Mouth, like you're one. Well, they're bucks. they're super hot, so if you have that water, it cools you down. <laughs> no, but like <laughs> it's, it'll, the the water will be hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like when you're eating pizza rolls, you're never like it's not like a dining experience. You're eating pizza rolls because either you had nothing else planned for dinner or you want a snack, and you're not. You're telling me you're gonna wait for that oven to preheat and for those pizza no, rolls to cook. No, no, you gotta learn. You gotta learn the methods to my madness. You put it in while it's preheating. Fuck that. No way. All right. If it says 12 minutes, you put it in for 15 and you start it. No, but then, but then it, it doesn't crisp the no, same. No, no. There's a method, right? The, yeah, shitty one. You just learn You just learn as you go, you know? I haven't preheated things in years. <laughs> yeah, all your food is probably awful. If you don't preheat you it. How would you know that? You don't eat my food. Ooh, there's a reason why. <laughs> but if you don't preheat it, then you're not going to get to the certain temperature at which things cook better. You know, I'd rather have I'd rather have maybe a bit too crisp or a bit slightly uncrisp thing rather than a soggy piece of dough. Okay, well, these are two separate things. One, Okay, the oven thing, like if you don't preheat it, it's like you may as well have an old man just slowly <sighs> eating on your food in the beginning because that's, that's the essentially what is happening there. <laughs> <laughs> and the pizza rolls i'm not <laughs> i don't think i ever ate food and was like wow it, it tastes like some old man breathed on it <laughs> and the pizza rolls who is waiting fucking 10 minutes for an oven to heat up and if you don't wait for it to heat up then you you may as well have microwaved it and the only time i'm microwaving it is if it's 3 a.m and yeah, 15 and I, minutes. If it's 3 a.m. and I got to get back to war zone with the boys. <laughs> and if you waited 15 minutes for pizza rolls, I'll, mine will be done in a minute. I don't care. Yours are going to be shit compared to mine. But I'll have them sooner. I don't care. You know what I could Dude, do with that other like 14 saying, minutes? Why would you go to a restaurant when you could just make yourself like a roast beef sandwich at home? Because roast beef is gross. Roast beef is awful. Yeah, but you could have it in like a minute. Or I could not have it at all. Dude, what, what are you... Your point, my point is, is not uh, your point. Your point is wrong. My point is right. <laughs> you just changed your point into my point. My point into your point. Wait a minute. I lost point, track of the pointception. Point. I think I'm winning in terms of points. Deal? <laughs> or no deal. <laughs> Suitcase 23. You're wrong. Damn it. <laughs> this happens every time I come on this show. <laughs> All right, this next one. Is there gravity underwater? Yes. Yeah, of course. Like, it's yeah. not like it just disappears in water. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> um, okay. This was this one's kind of a cool one we got asked. All right. You have to choose an artist or a band that you're gonna listen to every day, mm-hmm. all day, yeah. for a year straight. So I'm talking twenty four seven three six five. Yeah. 
one artist slash band. Yeah. I don't, they didn't specify, but I don't know if you get to like, if you choose like a band, I don't know if you get to listen to one song or you have to listen to all of it. So the bad songs and the good songs, I don't know what we, but let's just say you get to pick the discography part you're listening to, right? But then after that year's up, you never get to listen to them again. Who are you picking? Dude, easily. I'm going to pick Oasis. Oh, I'd be fine with never listening to them again, but getting a full year of Oasis. I, dude, I just listen to Some Might Say, like, on repeat 24-7 for the whole year. I'd be okay with never hearing it again. Okay. Cancel clearly, the podcast. Clearly somebody's a Oasis? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Why not, like, what's what's that one girl's name? Like, Avril Lavigne? Yeah, why would I? Dude, I, I mean, not that her music's bad. Just not Dude, me. I listen to Skater Boy for a year straight. Dude, no, you're not. Yeah, I would. You're going to get tired. Why would you listen? Okay, you can't listen to something that's amazing like Oasis. Yeah, but I, I already I, I already listened to them, but like not a lot. Uh, and it would be in, I'd be fine with not being able I to think I'm going like like my life. I don't know. I think I'd have to pick something I'm like just super mediocre about. Like like Nickelback or something. Like I don't love or hate you're not, them. You're not going to, dude, you're not going to listen to Nickelback for a year. Well, that's the thing, though. I don't want to pick something that I'd like. Because then I'll never get to listen to it again. I mean, there's a point to that. But at the same time, if I didn't have Oasis to listen to for the rest of my life, I still have a bunch of other bands that I already like. Out of the bands that I do like the most, Oasis is probably, like, lower down on the on the list. Dude, well, we all take time to mature and realize why we're wrong. <laughs> I think we also uh, take time to realize and mature and realize again. (laughs) Next question. We can go without listening to Oasis. All right, this next question. What level of toast do you toast your toast? Well, if we look at our graph over here. (laughs) Oh, how convenient. That is, for whatever reason, in order (laughs) and not out of order. I'm going a solid... Why? Five. I don't like how the top left one. Like it's not in order though. Like three is not as crispy as four. Like four is the second most, but it's in number four. Yeah. But anywho, what what number are you five. going with? Five. 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 Dude, two all day. Two. Two. I don't know why. You, what's even the point of toasting yours? Yours looks like it's fresh out of the fresh fresh out of the bag. Oh, I, I didn't realize that that crisp brown, crispy brown. You call that crispy brown? Was uh, fresh out of the the bag dude i may as well have gone to walmart and handed it to you and said here you go bon appetit bon appetit <laughs> yeah that's right Two, there's actual color on it it got some sun the uv <laughs> index was high that day yeah but you also don't want to get that radiation poisoning well it's worth it because then it'll actually taste good mine has some some 30 spf some <laughs> <laughs> but dude don't no, because like your toast has to be like as cruel is like clo- wow gross is <laughs> is close <laughs> To being burnt as possible without being burnt. Like, honestly, I would take one over five. You'd rather have a burnt piece <laughs> that's of not, toast. That's not even burnt, dude. This is a bad diagram because number one looks pretty darn good. Number one looks good. Yeah. You like eating ash? A- oh, Dude, you're going to take one bite of that thing that's going to disintegrate in your mouth. Dude, that thing actually has some flavor it's gonna- and some crunch. Dude, it's gonna be. You're gonna be eating like. Dude, a you're nature, so, You're gonna be eating a crunchy Nature Valley bar as that piece of toast. Dude, it's number five. Be all crumb, no crunch. <laughs> number five may as well be a laffy taffy, dude. <laughs> it's bread. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> That's how soft it's gonna be. What? Yeah. Dude, laffy taffy's kind of tough. Laffy taffies are actually really hard, but like not so, crunchy. <laughs> They're soft. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, number f- I don't uh, I literally can't see a difference between number five and number nine. They're the same color you're, to me. You're obviously colorblind. I'm who? <laughs> you're you. Wait, I'm me. No. Who's you? Who's who? Doctor. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> this is the next one. Would you rather double your legs or double your arms? Wait, wait, scratch that. Let's go back. Because you let me know one of your questions before we started this, and it goes right in line with the toast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, are you, when you're making s'mores, 
Are you burning your marshmallow? Or are you giving that golden brown? You know, kind of? I think for a long time in my life, I thought I was a golden brown kind of guy. Yeah. But then I just got really lazy. And I just like, I'm like, I don't care. Exactly. I just let it sit there until it's literally almost uh, bigger than the fire that I'm roasting it yeah, on. Yeah, dude. Getting that thing roasted black with the char. Oh. You see, it tastes good. I think golden brown tastes better. But I just until like I'm at a point in my life where I can make other people do that for me. Mm-hmm. I'm sticking to just golden browns for people who don't who are afraid of fire, <laughs> dude. Like, there's like when you make the s'more because you've like put it in the fire and it's all blackened out. When you when you push those two pieces of graham crackers, yeah, and it's just over that chocolate. It's so melty and gooey. You're getting a golden brown one, it's basically just a plain marshmallow. Which is dude, like, my mouth was watering. <laughs> Let me paint you a word picture. Mm, I'm listening. The velvety jar of the marshmallow envelops your taste buds, and then the whoosh of the melting chocolate soirees around your tongue like a Tarzan on a rope. (laughs) And then you get that crunch (laughs) of the graham cracker, and it all molds together in one oozy bite that makes you go ah I want more I want more (laughs) (laughs) okay alright back to what I was saying would you rather double your legs or double your arms double my legs double your arms why why would you want to be so tall why would I not want to be able to win in fights cause your legs yeah Dude, you're you gonna like- walk over them? <laughs> <laughs> is it in chess? St. Checkers? You're gonna walk right over them and they're just gonna realize, hit you in the realize, leg and you're gonna collapse. I didn't realize people in chess and checkers. Checkers and checkers have long legs. Well, no, like in checkers, you know how you, you go over someone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> was it the eye movement, though? Oh, man. Yeah, dude. In I I don't know I don't remember when I heard this, but there's a lot more power in kicking than there. No, is yeah, 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 yeah. I'd yeah. rather be able to just like just like be like sitting here, and I could just like kick you in the face. Right okay, now. hear me out. But if you had double the length of your arms, think about you just t pose real quick and started spinning. You're you're a tornado, baby. You're fucking dude. human Beyblade. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the one guy from Looney Tunes, the spinny guy. Oh yeah, the Tasmanian. Yeah, 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 dude. No one's getting in your way. Who's going to block you? Dude, you could do that with legs, but just spin on your head. And then not only are you the Tasmanian... Spin on your head right now. But then... Put the microphone down. Spin on your head. Not only are you... Put the microphone down. In camera shot. Not only are you you the Tasmanian devil, but you're also a great break dancer. (laughs) Okay, let's see it. Spin on your head. (laughs) 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 Well, you gave it your all. As you can see... (laughs) As one might have predicted, doubling your arms is better. A little bit of practice. Also, anybody. <laughs> okay. Okay. Think about it this way. At the right angle? Yeah. I'm thinking. You are? Yeah. But not that. All right. Way. I have double length of arms. Try and come at me. Boom. I don't need to. I need to <laughs> kick you. <laughs> Boom. No, I'm holding you back. I'm holding you back. I'm holding you by the head. You ain't coming anywhere near me. But my legs are doubled. <laughs> I can just reach you from here. Well, I guess then no one wins in this scenario. I guess we just sit there forever. No, I fucking... God, I just kick you in the head, and you're knocked out. Kick me in the head? Yeah, because my legs are doubled. But so are my arms, so I'm holding you all the way back. I don't care. You think you? You think if I was holding your Sweep head... Sweep the leg, Johnny. Sweep the leg. You think if I was holding your head right now, you'd be able to kick me in the head? Yeah. Uh, Easily. How flexible... Dude, okay, if you doubled your arms... Yeah. Theoretically, right there, you'd be able to hold my head, and if we doubled my legs... Theoretically, my legs would already be at your head's length. Dude, what? look at it. Look at this. Add another one of these. But also, you have to think to add another one of these. Yeah, and I'm only getting pushed back like another six inches. Six? How long do you think my, my arm isn't six inches long? You got some pretty small arms. What? <laughs> these are lengthy. <laughs> lengthy. Dude, you look like a T-Rex out here. Not cool, man. <laughs> you know I'm sensitive about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know they called me Rex in high school. All right. The next one. Would you rather walk backwards everywhere or on your knees everywhere? 
But like forwards. No, I'd rather walk backwards everywhere. Knees. Dude, you can see everywhere you've been. Yeah, that's kind of deep. <laughs> okay. <Rebuttal? laughs> well, you see on your knees. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything to say. But, dude, no way. You know how much your neck would hurt? Why would my You're neck You're walking work? backwards all day. You're not just going to... You're not just gonna walk backwards and hope you don't run into anything. You're gonna be going like this the entire day. Dude, you get it like a service dog or something. A service you. dog for walking backwards? Yeah. Not only do you get a dog, but you get to see everywhere you've been. It's like a win win scenario. All you get on your knees is just bloody knees and people laughing at you. Where do you think I've been my whole life, man? Five <laughs> eleven. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this guy. You said you want to talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. S- I still think I'm taking That's on my right, knees ladies. forward. He's not six feet tall, like he says. Well, like on a good day, like when I first wake up, oh well, my body's still, you know, expanding. Yeah. yeah. No, it com- Yeah, decompressed. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Decompress. See, I hate that. Like, Go what a ground. stupid way to word something. You know, like decompress but like compress mm-hmm. means to make something smaller but d usually means yeah. to undo the thing yeah, but dude. you just undo I the think dumb about thing. this stuff all the time like abominable snowman like oh god here we go like not again what makes it abominable could it just be vomitable you know what i mean like what happens when you take away the a is it just then you get a word that doesn't exist are you sure yeah because according to google whelmed exists Whelmed? Yeah, whelmed. 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 What word is that supposed to be? Under, over. What? Yeah, wait, wait, what is whelmed? I don't know. What does that mean? Like, if you're overwhelmed, you're like... I feel ah. kind of whelmed right now. Does it mean you're just, like, <laughs> neutral? <laughs> I'm feeling awfully whelmed today. Yeah, I thought about this. So, like, if someone was like, how's your day going? And you're like, whelm. That means, like, you're just good. You're like, you're, like, you're not, you're like, you're okay. Well, I really want to focus on the abominable. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just face it, man. You have to put the A in front. But what if the abominable snowman just wants everyone to know he's abominable? <laughs> <laughs> what would that even mean? I don't know. Maybe he's just a whelmed snowman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Okay. Okay. You're getting pizza. I am. And you know when you get a pizza, like, typically, like, 90% of a pizza is, like, the pizza and, like, 10% is the crust, right? Yeah. Like, that's about fair. At what percent would you stop getting pizza if, like, say 20% of the pizza was crust instead or 30 or 40 or 50? What, like, what's, like, the threshold or, like, the cutoff? Dude, I could go, like, 100%. 100? Yeah. That's not pizza. That's bread. Dude, I love bread. I'd get bread all day. But you're calling, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, local pizza delivery. I'd like to order one big bread. <laughs> Dude, when I used to go to Little Caesars, I would, like, religiously buy that crazy bread. Yeah, but that's different. That's not like pizza. I'm saying different. you're expecting pizza. Why would I be expecting pizza? You just said if I could increase it. Wouldn't I already be expecting that I'm no longer getting pizza? I get. I I don't know. I guess I didn't really think this question through enough. But what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You don't like bread? I I do, but not like enough to order a flat disc of it and call it like a dinner. Dude, I've been eating bread in the rectangular shape my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you cross your eyes to say that? I thought I saw like a spider <laughs> crawling around the brim. It like, freaked me out. But yeah, I've I've only eaten rectangular bread my whole life or square. I want that circular bread. What well, good is that? Were you gonna frisbee golf with it? You're not gonna eat it. Well, you don't look at a tortilla and say, "Am I gonna play frisbee frisbee golf with it?" Totally different though. Tortillas are way thinner, have a different taste, are used as the building block to things. I'm saying you you want pizza, but you're like, yeah, can I just get the bread instead? That's yeah, it. Yeah, and then you can just make pizza afterwards. No, you can't do that. You can't cheat the system. So if, so if I put tomato sauce and, like, no, cheese on no. top of it, it would just immediately convert into an extra disc of bread? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like you pour it on it, and then it, like, matrixes, like, all numbers, and then it's gone. Oh. Uh, so it's like a... <laughs> There's no getting around it. It's like, it's like those waterproof things, and you just see the droplets fall. Yeah, off. that's so cool. <laughs> I've always wanted one of those. 
Yeah, and they pour like syrup on it, mm-hmm. and it still just runs right off. Yeah, I got a cat. It works. What? Cats are waterproof. If you didn't know. Really? Yeah. I had, if you just put like a drop of water on them, I saw it on TikTok, and I had to try, so I just took a bucket of water. <laughs> Drowned my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Dumped it on him. He was dry. His bone. Don't you play games with me? Cause I'll go drown my cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. All cats, like no matter what kind of coat they got. Oh yeah. This or is, like fur. This, this is a. Is that what it's called? A non, cat? This is a non-cat specific. Um. Phenomenon. Trait. Yeah. Phenomenon. Wait. All cats? Really? All cats. You swear? Swear on Jolly right now. Is the sky blue? Depends on the day. Well, today it was. Today was cloudy as hell. No, it wasn't. It rained like half the day. Behind all them clouds, <laughs> it's still blue. Don't, be, don't look at me. Like <laughs> all right, next question. <laughs> Do you have any weird or rational fears? Dude. I'm absolutely terrified of elevators. Mortified. I guess that's not like weird, but that's definitely irrational. I hate getting into elevators. You hate even getting into them? You ever see me get in an elevator? No. No, I don't know if I've ever... I've never been in a situation where we would get in an elevator. Exactly. You just avoid them at all costs? Exactly. I hate (laughs) elevators. You have like a map? (laughs) You have like X's on every building (laughs) that has elevators? Dude, you say that like... Like it's a joke. So like what? Okay, you're you're at the mm-hmm. Sears Tower, dude. Yeah. You climb in every step all the way just to get to the top. Well, no, I'll deal with it. Oh, that's not but that. Just like no, I'll be having a panic attack. You'll get over it. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> what? What are you scared? Are you scared that they're gonna like fall all the way down? No. Well, yes. But I'm really, like, you ever see Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory where the elevator shoots to the top? I'm so scared. <laughs> That's that. what you're most worried about? Yeah, I'm like, I'm worried it's just not going to stop. I'd be more worried about, like, it getting stuck, and then you're in there long enough where you have to pee. And then you uh, have to pee. I'll but pee the, all over the elevator's slightly at an angle, right? <laughs> so you pee in the corner, and you're in the elevator with someone else, and you pee in the corner, and then it slowly rolls down. And then it goes to the other guy's feet. You know, that's embarrassing, but at least you're going to live. Or I guess I could just pee in the part of the angle of the elevator that won't let it roll down yeah. the entire elevator. But I didn't know at first. It wasn't my fault. What I was it, stuck in the elevator. I didn't you, know what was going on. What if you pee in the elevator and it seeps through and then, like, corrodes the line and then the line snaps and you fall to the bottom of the Well, elevator. then you're just dead and it's fine. Dude, that's you have to worry about it. a whole new fear of elevator. <laughs> Unlocked. I hate you. <laughs> Now you're afraid of peeing in an angled <laughs> elevator that might happen to corrode the wires and make you drop to your death? Yeah. That ain't irrational, buddy. That's as rational as they come. <laughs> that happened to a good buddy of mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, If you could have any animal but pet-sized. So, like, in my mind, pet-sized is, like, puppy-ish sized. Okay. P- puppy-ish sized to, like, dog-sized. To where you want. What animal are you taking? Dude, I think. Wow, that's a good question. What is what was it called? It's the Stegosaurus. Well, that'd be a cool one. Is it kind of that's the one that's like the like one, a pretty big bite. Yeah, like it's yeah. like like the dinosaur giraffe. Yeah, it'd be cute. It'd be so cute, just mm. like all miniature now. I would take a dog. <laughs> A dog sized dog. <laughs> what can I say? It's like one of those memes where it's like slaps roof a car. This is a dog sized dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think. I think a, it's funny though. I think a giraffe would be really funny. I just think the long neck but baby size would be so cute. Yeah. Dude, yeah. You ever see like plush giraffes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a, there's oh, you know, like some houses they have like the dog slash cat door that like swing mm. swing runs out. Would you have to get like a specially shaped one so their neck would fit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Dude, that. what if someone's house as a front door had revolving doors? That would be so cool. Dude, that would be so. F- it'd be like a like walking into a ho- hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then how would you lock it? I mean, I guess you lock it like a normal door. Or I mean, I'm pretty sure they lock. I'm pretty sure if you have a revolving door as a front door, you could probably afford like a security guard. Yeah, but I, I'm like pretty sure they lock. Like, why wouldn't they lock, you know? Mm-hmm. 
And you're just like asking to get robbed at that point. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know. I just never go to like places that have revolving doors at night where they would be locked. So I don't know. Like I don't see why they couldn't lock, but I would think that like they have a little bit of room in between them so that doors can spin. You know what I mean? So I just don't know where it would lock. Well, I'm no expert on doors. Mm. So. As I presumed. <laughs> well, I know a thing or two about a thing or two about doors because of my stepdad. So you don't know things about doors, but he does. Yes, he's a professional door man. I've never met one before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Are you going anywhere with this? No, (laughs) absolutely (laughs) no. All right, we're going to go probably last question. I don't know. Let's see how long this takes. This one's rough. There's no win in this one. Would you rather have... Dorito fingers for the rest of your life. I already don't like this. Or would you rather have a stuffy nose for the rest of your life? Oh, my God. What are you taking? Stuffy nose. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, imagine if you just, like, everything you touch just got Dorito, Cheeto print on it. Like, got some really important documents you got to hand <laughs> in. And it's just like, here you go, Mr. President. Sign oh, this. Man. And it's just like a big cheeto mark where you supposed imagine to like trying to get a job and they're like all right you got the job and you shake their hand they look there and like what and they're like oh could you just leave your like resume or something yeah. and you leave it and they're just fingerprints on the, like the corner of yeah. the paper oh man maybe they respect that though maybe they respect a guy who now or, here's or a guy or a gal who who really likes doritos they're like we respect a man who can eat doritos Oh my god, you ever been, like ever like use a controller at your friend's house? Or you better not be one of these types of people. But like the people who like eat and play games at the same time. Like, dude, one time I went to my friend's house and he always ate Doritos while he played. It was Doritos. It was always Doritos, right? You gotta you gotta at least have a napkin to wipe. Yeah, or something. And uh one time I went over to his house and he like handed me the controller to play and I grabbed it and mm-hmm. it literally slipped oh, between my that, fingers. Ooh. Yeah, it went I, I was like that boom hit the ground. He's probably got like some really leathery hands, so they it grips in his. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how he did it, but that's just crazy. That's like gross. Mm-hmm. Like you think at some point, mm-hmm. but I guess maybe you just get so used to it. Exactly, he adapted. His hands are like textured now. <laughs> yeah, he gets grip from the instead Doritos of the, instead of controller getting textured grip. Your hands get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, I don't know. Yeah, I think I have to take Stuffy Nose. But, dude, Stuffy Nose is, like, the worst thing on this planet. Yeah, but yeah, but you're telling me you wouldn't mind, like, blowing your nose, you know, 20 to 40 times a day rather than having to deal with Cheeto <gasps> dust and everything? That's dude, the worst part, wearing, though. You can't even wear white because every time you grab a shirt to put it on... It's already... It's already ruined. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst part about stuff he knows though it's like you blow it 20, 30, 40 times a day and nothing even comes out yeah yeah. it's just I hate this question well buddy <laughs> I don't have to tell you let's just go back forget about it you can you, you can you can slap my ass call me Jim cause that's a fucked up scenario <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> nobody has ever heard somebody say something like that and think that's funny Put your hand feel us, mustard or ketchup. <laughs> it's not funny. It is. It's not funny. Oh, you just don't have a sense of humor. No, I have a good sense of humor. So what? Does that make mine bad? <laughs> yes. Oh. No, yours is just bad and mine's just good. This explains a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Completely independent. Yeah, yeah. I'm an indie humor guy. <laughs> All right, and I'm so sorry you had to listen to this. Uh, that's unfortunately, or fortunately, rather, for you, uh, all we have time for today. Uh, so, yeah, yeah uh, make sure you follow. I don't know if you, I don't know, you probably found this, found us from TikTok. But if you mm. didn't find us from TikTok, go follow us on TikTok. That's yeah. where we post all of our goodies. And uh, be sure to follow our band page, The Outlines Band, on pretty much every social media platform. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>